Hi, today we will study the relation between the roots of a quadratic equation and its coefficients as well. Now, so far to solve quadratic equation, you have studied three methods that is the factorization method, completing square method and the formula method. Now, by any of this method, you usually get two different answers or sometimes you get one answer twice, right? So without actually solving the equations, how do we find out whether the equation have two different roots or same roots? So to understand this, let us see what was the formula to solve the quadratic equation. The formula was x is equal to minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Now the term inside the radical sign that is b square minus 4ac, that term is called as discriminant and the value of discriminant actually decides what is going to be the nature of root or how the roots are going to be. Now if the value of this discriminant is positive then the roots or the answers for the quadratic equation are going to be real and unequal. Two different roots are going to be obtained. If the value of discriminant is equal to zero then the roots are going to be real and equal. The values of both the roots will be equal. And if the value of discriminant is less than zero, then the roots are not real. That quadratic equation cannot be solved. Okay. Now, before moving further, make a note of this table properly because we are going to use this table to solve some questions. Okay. Now let's see the question. The first type of question is a direct question. In this, the value of discriminant is directly asked. So if there's an equation x square plus 7x minus 1 equal to 0, we will identify its coefficients that is a, b and c. a is 1, b is 7, c is minus 1. And we will substitute it in the value of the discriminant. The discriminant is b square minus 4ac. So once you substitute and simplify, you'll get it as 53. That's the answer, right? It's quite simple. Remember the value of discriminant. If you remember the formula to solve the quadratic equation, the discriminant is quite easy, right? Now, you can try out these two questions on your own. Now, the second type of question which is asked is the nature of roots. In these questions, we have to first find the value of discriminant and then use our table to identify the nature of roots. Now, for example, if you look at this question, 2x square minus 2x plus 3 equal to 0. Identify the coefficients that is a, b and c. Our discriminant is b square minus 4ac. We will substitute the values in this. And after simplifying, I'll get is minus 20. Minus 20, it's negative term, it's less than 0. And remember what is written in your table? When it is negative, the roots are not real. Okay, so this is how we have to solve these type of questions. You can try out these questions on your own. Now, the roots of the equations are equal and real. Find the value of k. Now, again, if you look at our table, well, when are the roots real and equal? When the value of discriminant is equal to zero, right? So, first we will identify the variables a, b and c. a is 3, b is k and c is 12. When the roots are real and equal, b square minus 4ac should be equal to 0. We will substitute the values of a, b and c in the equation and simplify it to get the value of k. Okay. Exactly in the same way, you can try out this next question. We have kx into x minus 2 plus 6 equal to 0. If you multiply that bracket properly, you will get a quadratic equation with a, b and c as k minus 2k and 6 and in the same way as the roots are real and equal b square minus 4ac should be taken as 0. Substituting the values you should get the value of k. You could get two different answers of k. Now let us understand how to form a quadratic equation from its roots. Now this is exactly the opposite process. Now, if the roots of the equation are given, we have to find the equation. The simple way to do it, the formula is x square minus 
alpha plus beta x is equal to alpha into beta where alpha and beta are its roots. Now let us understand this using a simple example. If the roots of the equation are 3 and minus 10, we have to find the equation. Now the two roots are given, I can take any one value as alpha and the other as beta. I first need to find out alpha plus beta that is the sum of roots, addition of both the roots that should be minus 7. Then I will find out alpha into beta that is the product of roots that is 3 into minus 10 which is minus 30. And once you get both of these we know the formula x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta. I will substitute the value of alpha plus beta and alpha into beta in this equation and simplify it to get the required quadratic equation. Okay. So if you know the roots of the equation, you can get the equation itself by the above formula. Please make a note of the above formula that will be useful in solving the next few questions. Okay, now let us understand the relation between the roots of the equations and the coefficients. Now the roots of the equation are usually denoted by alpha and beta, right? And the coefficients are a, b and c. Now the relation between them is if we add the roots that is alpha plus beta what we will get is minus b by a and if you multiply the roots that is the product of the roots the answer will be c by a okay a b and c are the coefficients of the quadratic equation whereas alpha and beta are the roots of the quadratic equation. Now let us see how the questions are asked based on these formulas. The sum of the roots of the quadratic equation is double their product and we have to find the value of k. Now the equation is given. First of all, from the equation, I'll identify a, b and c. The value of a is 1, the value of b is minus 4k and the value of c is k plus 3. Okay. Now, according to the given condition, the sum of the roots is double the product. The sum of the roots that is alpha plus beta is equal to double that is 2 times alpha into beta. Now we know the formula for alpha plus beta right. We also know the formula for alpha into beta. We will substitute those formulas in the given equation. You can see a and a in the denominator will get cancelled out and we will be left with minus b is equal to 2c. So minus b the value of b is minus 4k the value of c is k plus 3. So substituting those values and simplifying I should get the value of k as 3. So this is how we use these two relations that is sum of roots and the product of roots to find out the unknowns in the given equation. Now you can try out these two questions on your own.